Hello, my name is Representative Pam Powers Hanley and I represent LD9 in Tucson in the Arizona House. Well, today is May 19 and the House is back in session. We're going to have committees this week and also some votes. Uh, even though the coronavirus is knocking at our door, um, many of us were here with masks today. I also had gloves on, but since I'm here in my office by myself, I took my mask off. So at the beginning of the, the festivities today, the Democrats tried to do a signy die um, motion. And so this would have, had, have ended the session and allowed us to go directly into a special session to focus on COVID-19. So we don't want to really waste time on bills that are not necessary. But what did we do today? We wasted time on bills that weren't necessary. So I thought I'd tell you about a few because many of these went through regulatory affairs, which is the committee where I'm the ranking member. So first of all, we had SB 1041. This is model legislation that defines travel insurance. I'd say not an emergency, right? Uh, we also had SB 1091, and this is if somebody gives up their insurance license, they can reapply and they don't have to take the test. Again, not an emergency. We also had SB 1557. Now, this is one that I voted no on in committee and no again today on the floor of the House. This one sets a standard of best interest of the client for people who are selling you annuities, right? This was going pretty good in committee until a member of the public stood up and said, this is not good enough. What they should have is fiduciary responsibility. So that means that the agent selling you a plan has to have a higher level of honesty and disclosure, and he can get no personal benefit at the expense of you, the client. So I think fiduciary responsibility is actually a better standard for our state. We also had SB 1040. This is, uh, says that insurance companies can send you an email instead of just sending you snail mail. Again, that could have waited till next year, right? Or maybe never, who cares? Not an emergency. There was also SB 1062, and this says that insurance companies can reimburse employers if employers decide to offer life insurance to their employees, and the insurance companies will even give them the software. Well. It doesn't sound horrible, but why are we doing this? Basically, this is an incentive for employers to offer life insurance. Again, not an emergency. So we also had SB 1090. This says that insurance adjusters who pass a, pass a national exam don't have to take a state exam. Okay, again, not an emergency. Why are we wasting our time? Why are we putting ourselves at risk sitting in that room and arguing about bills that are unnecessary at this time frame when we're t dealing with the novel coronavirus? Lastly, there's SB 1236. This allows people to adopt former adult stepchildren. I don't even want, know why this is a thing, actually. Uh, adopting former adult stepchildren? Anyway, so uh, we have three more days, or two more days, actually, of uh, House action. We'll see what happens. The uh, Republicans are hot to pass their business liability bill because they don't want business to take responsibility if they open too soon. Um, we'll see. That's going to have some debate. Anyway, it was fun to be back. There was uh, some rousing debate, and um, stay safe out there.